Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I am here with yet another routine uh, small incision cataract surgery of a uh, hard brown cataract. And this patient presented to us with diminution of vision for six seven months, and he is a diabetic patient for ten years. And on examination, it was found that he was having and has four grade nucleus sclerosis with substantial amount of posterior subcapsular cataract. So I have planned to do a manual small incision cataract surgery in this case. And by this time, one side port has been made. Trepan blue has been instilled into the entry chamber. And now is the time to remove the dye from the AC. The entry capsule has been stained by now. I feel with in these very hard grade cataracts, manual small incision cataract surgery is a very safe surgery, safe for the posterior capsule as well as for the corneal endothelium. Because whenever we do phaco emulsification in these cases, there is substantial loss of corneal endothelial cell count and also there are chances of complications. So I prefer doing manual small incision cataract surgery in these cases. And here the surgery has already been started. Rexis has been initiated using a micro rexis forceps. Because the, it's a large bulky nucleus, I am aiming for a large rec capsule rexis of about 5.5 to even uh, 6 millimeters. Because in these cases, uh, the nucleus is big and the removal of the nucleus through the capsular bag would be a difficult situation if we have a small uh, rexis so it's always a, a good idea to have a big rexis so that the nucleus maneuverability is not compromised the rexis has been done by now Minimal cautery has been applied and now I am making a frown shape scleral incision about 6.5 millimeters. Now uh, using a crescent blade, I am just marking the ends of the incision and the blade now enters into this into this cradle tunnel and now into the cornea about 1.5 millimeters. The bevel of the blade has to be up so as to avoid any premature entry into the entry chamber. If the bevel is parallel, then we can have inadvertent premature entry, which we don't want. So in this case, the bevel is up. The Corneal tunneling is done on the left side, now I am doing it on the right side with good scleral pockets and I am planning to have a good trapezoid shaped incision which is wider in the inside and less wider outside. So now is the time to enter the entry chamber using a 2.8 bevel up to present. Uh, keratome, I am just opening the tunnel, cutting while moving forwards. Dental hydro dissection has been, has been done, fluid wave is passed, and the other side of the nucleus is tapped. And because in these hard grade cataracts, it is difficult to visualize the fluid wave. So, care has to be taken to just instill a very small amount of fluid. So, after this hydro dissection, I am taking two Sinsky hooks to just manually wheel out the nucleus from the capsular bag using a bimanual technique. One Sinsky just pushes the nucleus to the left side, other one hooks the equator and large bulky nucleus is just wheeled out 
into the anterior chamber using both the Sinsky hooks. This bimanual technique of just wheeling out the nucleus is very good even in small pupils. Before removing the nucleus, some viscoelastic is instilled to protect the cornal endothelium as well as the PC. Also using the cannula, I am just checking the size of the incision, whether it is appropriate to remove this nucleus or not. Now I am using a vectus and a Sinsky hook to just remove the nucleus using fake or sandwich technique. And smoothly the nucleus has been delivered out. Cortical aspiration has been done using biomanual irrigation aspiration. I am not very uh, fond of using Simco. Uh, in this case, uh, um, I use biomanual irrigation aspiration because it helps me to form, keep the chamber really formed and there are no chamber fluctuations. It's good in my hands. So, vacuum air is about 300 and bottle height is about 110. Slowly the cortex has been removed. Co cannula through the main incision causes a lot of chamber fluctuations and I don't feel very comfortable using Simco through the main incision. And to use Simco through the side port, one has to have a big side port, even to use a 23 gauge Simco. Still, my preferred technique in SICS is always a manual irrigation aspiration. Hands are switched, and the cortex is just being stripped off from the other side. This is an edited video, now is the time to implant the intraocular lens. Capsular bag has been filled up using HPMC and here goes the foldable single piece monofocal aspheric hydrophobic intraocular lens into the capsular bag. The leading haptic goes in the capsular bag and in a moment the trailing haptic will be just dialed into the capsular bag using a ball tape dialer. Now is the time to remove the viscoelastic which was, in, which was used to implant the intraocular lens. I am using the uh, irrigation uh, handpiece of the biomanual irrigation aspiration to just uh, gradually flush out all the viscoelastic from both behind the intraocular lens just by irrigation. I am not using any aspiration right now. I am just irrigating out the viscoelastic behind the intraocular lens and now from the front of the intraocular lens. Now using both the biomanual irrigation and aspiration and the residual visco is just being removed from the entry chamber. Vacuum being used here is about 450 and that's it. Some more visco elastic is being removed, residual one. Bottle light is about 110, chamber is very well formed. Lens is well placed, well centered in this case. That's it, the case is done, side ports are hydrated. I always prefer to put in one Tenno nylon suture in the scleral wound whenever I am operating superiorly because it helps me to contract the against the relaxation which would have been caused by this large incision. The knot is buried. That's it, the case is done. Hope you do like the video. Do like, share and subscribe my channel, help the channel to grow. And do comment in the comment box if you feel to have any specific video. I've got a lot of videos in my archives. So if you want to have any specific video on any specific topic, do comment. 
and do like and share this video and thank you so much finally the conjunctiva is being closed using cautery and the patient did well thank you so much